Okay, in this video, we're going to talk about tips to present your health, safety, well-being, whatever idea to your business management, your colleagues, etc. How to really get them engaged and on board and buying in to your idea. Take a day off, will ya? <clears throat> okay, how to pitch, present, whatever, your safety idea. Yes, this is a health and safety video, but these concepts, I think, will work if you're trying to pitch any idea. These are just things I've picked up over the years and how I've learned from failed pitches and successful pitches. And some things that I think that will help you as a business manager, a safety professional, a business owner, trying to pitch an idea, whether it's internal or external, hopefully these will help you. So I'm gonna go through six of my tips Let's go. You want to understand what their priorities are. So for a production manager, it's going to be, is is your idea going to slow me down? How many people am I going to lose from this process? Is this going to stop me getting my product out the door, etc.? If it was a finance manager, how much is it going to save us? How much is it going to cost us? You know, you've got to put yourself in their shoes and think about what their priorities are. Try and think about if they have any preconceptions of you, of health and safety, of the idea you're pitching. Maybe you're pitching like a stress management project or uh, overall incident <laughs> overall incident reduction project or something like that if they've got a preconception about mental health or a preconception about health and safety then you've got to be able to deal with that preconception I like that <laughs> You've got to be aware of that so you can kind of navigate your way around it. Try and think about what their pressures are. Try and think about if they're under pressure at the moment to increase flow, increase efficiency, increase products out the door, etc., to decrease costs. They're always going to be coming from that position, what their priorities are. You've got to really put yourself in these people's shoes. Tip number two. This will... <laughs> Tip number two. This will seem obvious, but you've got to know your subject. You've got to know it inside and out. You've got to get data to back up your ideas. You want to get case studies of when it's gone well, but probably get case studies when it's gone wrong as well, because if someone's really up, up against you, they're probably going to have examples of when it went wrong. So just be prepared for that. Know why you're doing this. Really understand why and have it prepared as to why it's good for you, good for the business, good for employees, etc and try and preempt questions around this subject as well. Tip number three, talk to employees. So talk to the shop floor staff or whoever's gonna be affected by this. Think about what their ideas are, what their questions might be if you were gonna pitch this idea to them. If they're thinking about their priorities, it's most probably gonna be the same priorities at a management level. So talk to the shop floor and get their overall opinion first. You may be able to use that in your pitch or in your defense. When talking to employees out on the shop floor, 60% of them thought that this was a great idea, etc., etc. This will always give more sustenance to your pitch it's going to back you up even if it's negative it's going to help you can say you know currently there's a perception on the shop floor that this is going to be a bad idea so that's enabled me to then look into why they think it's a bad idea and how I think it's not a bad idea and you can kind of preempt questions by doing that process as well. Tip number four, you've got to really understand how you are going to implement this idea and think about the implications of that as well. You know, who's going to be involved? How many people are going to be involved? Where are you taking those people from? These people that manage teams are going to be thinking, whoa, hang on a minute, you're taking Bob off the construction line or off the production line, etc. So think about those kind of man hours you're going to lose, the cost of implementing it. How long is this going to take? Really understand understand that process you don't just want to go in with an idea and then be like okay i like it how are you going to do it and you go oh, i don't know so be really prepared what it is and how you're going to implement it tip number five you want to have a good idea of how long until you start seeing results even if it's a long way off have a good idea you're probably going to get this from the case studies as well but you really want to understand that after three years other businesses that have done this have started to see results tip number six and the last one from me i think and this is the most important one in my experience is time your pitch well 
Think about what's going on in the business. Try and think about what's coming up in the business. Ask senior management, hey, are there any changes coming up? You know, anything coming up? Now, you're probably not going to get an answer, especially if it's big chain, but really try and work out, really try and guess what's happening next, etc. what's going on currently, because if you're trying to implement a change and another big change comes along, yours is going to be completely forgotten. Think about Grenfell. Grenfell happened, a lot of us in the industry are probably thinking, okay, maybe people will start listing now. Maybe we can start making some improvements. But that's been overshadowed by Brexit. And we're talking about Brexit all the time now. So, you know, you go and watch Prime Minister's questions you, and you're waiting for somebody to talk about Grenfell and you get, you know, London's MP, one of London's MP, and, and they've got nothing to say about Grenfell. And you're like, come on, you know, we need some serious change here. But it's been overshadowed so try and keep that in mind you know the, are you going to have like a redesign of your business are, are you having one now is there going to be a new machine come in it could be anything new customer for example is anything going to shadow this idea you want to try and get people's attention so try and highlight where that attention may be pulled away okay people i hope that helps you pitch your health well-being idea whatever it is to your presentees let's call them that let's go with presentees if you are watching this video because you've got an idea to pitch let me know what that idea is in below maybe we can help maybe we can collaborate maybe we talk about it on the podcast if it's that impressive so drop a comment below let us know if this helped you as well if you like this video and it does help you please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to hit the bell to never miss another episode don't forget on your dog walks and on your commute to work to go and check out our podcast where we have some amazing conversations we've had Jason Anker, Abby Taylor, Andrew Sharman, Louise Taggart. We've got some really amazing people spreading some amazing conversations, doing some amazing work, and we really get into it in the podcast. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to go check out the podcast. Available all of the platforms. Just search Rebranding Safety Podcast. Try and think of three people that you know that would benefit from this video and share it with them. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you next week. Safe.